Welcome back to Baku. We're on the edge of the Caspian Sea in a bustling, vibrant capital, which once again plays host to the spectacle of Formula 2. This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90-degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometres, flat to the floor, full throttle, in sixth gear, all the way to the end. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Taylor lines up on pole position, and it's Liam Lawson alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have... Deruvela, for sure. Daniel Tictum, Fittipaldi, Joe Lungard, Vips, Jack Aitken. Joining me today is a man who is no stranger to going fast. Davide Valsecchi of GP2 2012 fame. Great to have you here today, Davide. Are you enjoying yourself here in the beautiful city of Baku? Absolutely, Alex. Baku is fantastic and so distracted. Have a check, the architecture, the narrow street, easy to see white in circuit on the calendar. But Alex, street circuits can be unforgiving. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a safety car or two out during today's race.
nice move, good job. Okay, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. That is a brilliant, brilliant result. Well done. That's a fantastic performance from Framer. It hardly looked in doubt. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? The difference was in the strategy. Credit to the driver for sure. 
but races like this really drive home how much of a team sport this is. They did a lot of work on the pit wall to really make the most of each stint and to make the best use of the tires. But that said, all of that would have been for nothing without a talented hand on the wheel. It looks like it's time for the victory ceremony once again, as I can see the drivers beginning to make their way out for the celebrations. You can see it on their faces. It's another marvellous team win for Prima today. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Taylor increases their championship lead. And so, Driver of the Day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Let's give it to Felipe Drugovic. That was a quality drive from start to finish. He can be proud of that one. And here's how things are shaping up in the team's championship. Prima extend their lead at the top of the championship. Meanwhile, Carlin move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.